But you know, I have to balance it all out. A lot of people normally get to this topic and you know, if you need some extra tissue, we, we need to ask for tissue right now. Because I know you're a crybaby, Tatiana. Mm. <laughs> but you know, no, but okay, let's I'm just... I'm emotional. No, oh yeah. yeah. I'm an emotional being. Yeah, yeah. That comes with a lot of love. Mm. Means you just have a lot of love in Amen. In, your, in your heart. Yes. And we're, we're talking about just the love segment. We have two kids and everything. And I've always known you to be quite loving girlfriend. And... Oh, girlfriend? No. <laughs> um, I mean, how, how am I supposed to put this? I've always... I, I've known you to be like a lover. I've always... Since I know you, I've known you. You've always been like, and first of all, and here I have to co commend you for this first of all, because you know you're one of the few people that I know who are like actually, you know, pushing the uh, the love agenda and kids and everything. Mm. Just how do you maintain, even just being in a relationship? How do you maintain that? <laughs> why it's hard. Why? Listen, you. why? 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 Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Let's start with why are you laughing, first Just, of all. <laughs> you, there's so many ups and downs. <laughs> yeah. And there have been in my relationship as well. It's just, it's not easy. And kids throw a lot of... Carveballs. Yeah, in the mix. I mean, you don't, you know, you go from having a relationship... That's not my baby, FYI. Yo, I was, I, was just about, baby. I was just about like, yo, tats, we need to take a break. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Um, they do, yeah, like you said, they throw a lot of curveballs. I mean, you go from just being in a relationship of two and always, you know, caring about each other and putting your investing your time in each other yeah. to having these beings that rely solely on you for everything. Yeah. So, especially I think as a mother, I can only speak in my experience, but also a lot of what I've read, a lot of your attention now moves from your partner to your babies. And you don't do this willingly like, I've, I've forgotten about my partner, but it's just such a motherly instinct for you to put all your attention. I mean, these these babies rely on you, especially you as a mother, like breastfeeding, all that stuff is on you, you know? Mm. Um, so I think it's it's really, it's really a really difficult period in, in, a, in a relationship when you have kids. Yeah. And I've read that also, I mean, it happens with a lot of, with a lot of new parents. Mm. Um, you go through a really diff difficult stage when you first have a baby because you have to now learn how to be a family with three of you. And I'm not saying that there's that, you know your love reduces for your partner or for your child it's just a, a new way of living that you have to learn and mm. it's it's difficult um also especially because working having a partner having a baby you know you're taking care of so many things at one go that your attention is kind of now like misplaced or not misplaced just placed differently mm. so just learning to have a family life is is very difficult it's it's i'm it's, it's very easy. rewarding but it's very difficult yeah, okay. it's really not easy. It's but something how, you really you have to work. How, how are you managing to balance that out? I mean... But you guys are still strong, right? Um, so, we've had our ups and downs, like I've said, and I think... <laughs> are you laughing, Tatiana? Is that something I need to know? No, I mean, what I mean is that... You're good though, right? Yeah, we're, f we're fine. You're good. But what I You're mean Gucci? is like... Yeah, we're good. You're we're Gucci. good. <laughs> yeah, um, no, but, but it's just like what you're saying. It's just part hard. of life and even it's hard it's yeah. hard but like the most important step i'm just guessing because you know um if you have kids with somebody this is this is not just you know like a fling or anything this yeah. is somebody you actually truly love, love and care about yeah 100 percent. Yeah. yeah yeah it's somebody so just just because of like all the little curveballs and everything i know even in the new generation it might be a lot of people have like that short attention span like you know if i'm if this person i'm not if these things are not going well with this person like you yeah I'm actually out. i was if talking about that yesterday with my one of my best friends and yeah i think that is the problem of today's society no the, not a problem i think it's both a problem and both beautiful because we don't have to endure as much from our partners to be able to leave them if there's something really bad that happens like mm -hmm. whereas in the past people women would just stay because you know you're married and you have to stay and like people will look at you bad i mean there's yeah. so many things yeah so i i really love the fact that right now you are able to leave whenever you want to but at the same time i feel like today we may give up a little bit easier 
than you would have in the past. Like we give up on love or our relationship a little bit easier mm. because of where we are today. We're like, well, we don't need this. You know, I can I can move on if I want to. But relationship is hard work. It's not easy. It's not it's everyday hard. like it's happiness. Mm. It's it, you put in a lot of hard work to be in a relationship and to be in love. And it's every day building that building that love even deeper and building your family even more. So. Mm. I think that's one thing that I've also come to realize at this stage like in my life that it's hard work and if you really do love somebody you're going to put in that hard work. Um, so that's why I'm saying like it's been tough um, especially that we have kids and also because we didn't know each other for too long before we had a, before we had kids. Really? Yeah. Like it was quick like I mean I feel like we just we fell in love with each other really quickly and oh, it's that young nice vibrant love you yeah. meet with somebody you're like oh yeah and just But I've never been in love before you know I mean I've dated what? people but I've never no. Really? Yeah so he's the first person I've ever fallen in love with. Ever you've ever, never been ever. like you've never had like those I mean, I've been really liking people, like, oh, and I but, was happy, but, but not, not that kind love. of love. That yeah. Now, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I knew he was the one very early on, and Olive was the best mistake of our lives, but yeah. it was not. It was not a plan. I came to so that day, to Olive's birthday. Yeah. Yo, trust me, that's love. Yeah, I mean, it's it. We really do have love for each other. It's just, you know, trying to balance every, and then also we're young, and you live in Kenya, and there's a lot of things going on. So, you know. It's been tough, but we love each other, and you know, like you're gonna make something work if we're where you love somebody. So yeah, yeah, that's I guess. You see yourself getting married? I hope so. You know what? I don't really think I need to. I don't need to get married to validate our relationship. No, I'm just asking. Love. You know, no, no, like no, if you, you know what I'm yeah. asking. Yeah, no, a lot if, of if people believe ask me in that. like you know, because that's like you know the whole. Mm, it just shows like you know that permanent commitment that you know till death do us apart but and everything but that's the thing like i don't feel like getting married is like means that okay now this is the real deal because yeah. anything can happen in a marriage and like also what? anything like what anything can, just because you have a piece of paper doesn't mean that person will act differently than when they're not tell married me, tell me what you're talking about anything like I'm talking what? About any, just any like anything like what you can spill sugar that's anything <laughs> what are you talking about yes. what are you talking about <laughs> I just mean like anything devastating to a relationship can happen whether you're married or not married. Mm. And you don't need to be married to be able to be like, this is real love. Because you could really love somebody and you could really be committed to somebody without being married. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't basically you don't I love I believe the in the institution of marriage. Of marriage yeah, right? I don't I don't agree. I mean, I don't believe in the idea of... It's traditional, of course. Yeah, it's a it's new day and age. Yeah. And it's, it's quite a new... It's not. It's 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 a new thing to to like all, like millennials and everything. Yeah. Because you know we are fa fa fast paced. We are influenced with so many other different cultures, even in Nairobi. Yeah. And people have so many different beliefs. If you have friends who are like maybe from the states, from UK, people just look at things very differently in so many different cultures. And I'm just guessing if. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. We don't have we don't have a script for <laughs> for for marriage like old yeah. school guys used to have like you know yeah. they'd come into gatherings and talk about this exactly, and like yeah. you know you two are supposed to live like this and yeah and I also feel like uh, traditionally it's also uh, very important for your parents and right now I've told my parents it's like I'm not doing anything for them I, this is this love is for me and this is for my you. yeah and right now like I'm not going to try and be influenced by other people just because that's what you want for me. Yeah. So right now, I mean, I'm living for myself. And also at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's great to have this. I've always wanted to be married. And I think that it's a whole thing of like, you have this big ceremony and you're announcing that you're together. And like, it's just this be one beautiful married. thing. get married. Let me come do the video, you. Tatiana. But why not do like just a we are together ceremony? Where no, it doesn't have we to don't be signing want that. Papers? We want to see you getting married. Yeah, I mean, I would love I've, to. I've seen, I've seen Tia's shooting the video. I listen. Now maybe come shoot that video with some somebody else in that frame uh, it would be really hard for me to, to no i would never <laughs> yeah, I would yeah don't, don't 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 put me through that don't put me through that because now i'll be crying again in a whole different video yeah <laughs> and then people asking me like why is your camera guy crying no i mean look i love wayne and yeah. it would be great to be married but if it doesn't happen it's not it's not a lack of love it's just that it does it's not necessary oh, okay so mm. i mean right now we have two beautiful girls together Amazing, and amazing, we are, daughters. yeah, and you know, just we're happy where we're at, and I don't need to, yeah, I don't need to do anything for other people. If the time comes when we really want to, and this is our plan in life, then you can go great. with it, yeah. yeah. And if it doesn't happen, great. 
like I'm happy. You know? That's not what we're going. That's not what we're going. With. That's not <laughs> happiness. <laughs> I know where. No. I I I oppose that. I oppose that. But I think you need to get married. That's oh. what you're looking for. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. I just had to confirm that, you know. We're still Ev- shooting. Yeah, everything is running smoothly. And just relationships are hard, man, even just Very. in the new era and everything. But with you, I've seen like you like what I'm saying like cuz from what I've seen very loving you you pay a lot of attention to like just even the kids mm, yeah and i, I mean I, i know i know you guys will be able to go through all the hurdles and still you know yeah, yeah cuz I, i mean a family is what i've wanted since i was born you know i've wanted four kids and marriage i've wanted that life you know so i'm yeah. really very much family oriented and i think also cuz my family is very family oriented mm-hmm. so that's like rubbed off on me a lot so for me what is important is just having that loving environment for your kids to grow up in um despite like what whatever whether happens whether you're married yeah, or not yeah. whatever happens in life as long as you're you know giving I your kids stability love you know mm. educate i mean just letting them grow up okay <laughs> you know yeah, <laughs> doing yeah. the best you can yeah and i respect yeah. and admire that cuz you know cuz even that's the same energy even f- if if i was to get in that space mm-hmm. i i need to be able to understand like you know or even hear like people like you talk about such things yeah. or be like you know she's doing it and at least she's giving other people direction to do yeah. it yeah. everybody who's come to the podcast everybody's just breaking up with their like you know with their partner is like what who are you talking about i don't know them anymore <laughs> i who's that I'm like, "Yo, bro, the last time I saw you, uh, she like she does not exist anymore." Wow. Yeah, we've also <laughs> had yeah. our thing of like we broke up, got back together. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it it but it happens, right? I mean, I don't know. Oh. I, I, I mean, know. I feel like it happens. Well, it's happened to me. You've broken up before? Yeah. But how do you deal with that though? How do you deal with it's that so like It's so di- difficult how not does having Tatiana a Tatiana deal with with break a, a break. How do you deal with that like just you specifically? I it's do you have like friends who like keep feeding you like good I have amazing friends who are very positive and just try and uplift me and just want me to be happy which yeah. is great. Mm-hmm. At the same time I have two amazing daughters that I always just you know when I'm having a hard day go spend some time with them and they'll just bring you some laughter in life. Mm-hmm. Um but it's hard. I mean there are times where I'm just like what am i going to do with my life you know and i just yeah. and I, i i think maybe i also do like go through a lot of self affirmations i do like a lot of those quotes on yeah. instagram like that's what i'm always checking yeah, you listen, know, just do once once you listen to all the other episodes you'll just realize yo we're all we're all going through the same so as we just wind up the podcast uh, 